As Congress begins to work on the next farm bill, farmers across the United States are standing together and urging Congress to do no harm to crop insurance. Fifth-generation Illinois farmer Andrew Bowman says crop insurance has become the frontline risk management tool for American farmers. Crop insurance is a public-private partnership that allows farmers to be protected against weather events and things beyond their control. It doesn't guarantee profits, nor does it prevent people from failing. But it does allow market forces to work, and it protects us against extreme events, such as the late planning that uh, we've all experienced this year in the Midwest. Last year, farmers spent $4.1 billion out of their own pockets to purchase crop insurance, and Bowman says that investment has worked well for farmers. We have skin in the game. We aren't just accepting a handout or a subsidy from the government, and it's a good investment at both the individual level for the farm. I pay for this ability to have some protection against events beyond my control. But from a government perspective, We're protecting our food supply, we're protecting farmers against events beyond their control. And frankly, in the past, if uh, we would have had an event today like last year where we had widespread drought, the worst in 50 years, there would have been serious calls for disaster relief. That didn't happen because over 86% of all the crops were covered by crop insurance. Bowman says crop insurance isn't just a risk management tool for farmers and a disaster management tool for the federal government. It's also a rural investment engine for small-town America. There is a rural development portion of the farm bill that's being debated right now in Congress, but crop insurance also has those same benefits. A recent study by some Nebraska economists shows about $2.2 billion flowing back into Iowa, Nebraska, South Dakota, and Wyoming preserved nearly 21,000 jobs. Those are neat statistics, but uh, I'm selfish. I like to think in terms of Illinois, there were $3 billion that came back to my state. So there's a lot of good for rural America in the crop insurance program. Bowman says farmers are constantly reinvesting back into their communities because they need to buy seed, equipment, energy, fertilizer, and services. The beauty of farming is that it's a profession, but it's also a very personal, interconnected business as well. And uh, I like to think of uh, crop insurance as working capital insurance that protects the values I've got in my business. You know, in good years, money comes from harvest. Bad years, it comes from crop insurance. The difference is farmers in other countries... They have to stockpile money and keep a working capital reserve that might be rather large. We, on the other hand, can take money from good years and reinvest that in our farm, our businesses, in our local FFA chapter, our children, and by extension, our communities. There are a few things farmers can count on, which is why Bowman says farmers are hoping for a new five-year farm bill with a strong crop insurance policy at its centerpiece. That way, when Mother Nature throws farmers a curveball, the ag sector can keep moving and providing food security to the nation and the world. Reporting for National Crop Insurance Services, I'm Shanika Otterby.